60 agility. Now it's time to either work on crafting or keep working on agility. If I do keep doing agility, I'm gonna go work towards, well, actually, I need a bit more grace token so I can actually get the graceful legs. And then I'm gonna probably do agility pyramids so I can actually start collecting some pyramids for some cash. Just got 60 mark of grace. I'm gonna go buy the uh, graceful legs and then get 63 agility at the agility pyramid so I can use the, I can use the uh, new shortcut in uh, Taverly Dungeon to get the get to the um, water obelisk and blue drags faster. Yeah, so I got the Ruinite limb drop. It, it took like three trips to the Gower's Dungeon. I killed a good amount of avian seeds for the rune drops, man. Finally got it. Now all I gotta do is get 69 fletching. Got a few bow strings already. Make my long bows. Time to get that rune sea bow. All right, gonna do a bit of fletching. I'm gonna use some of the reward tokens I have now. I'm gonna uh, get some more eventually, but right now I'm gonna just try to get to 69. It's cool. So I have 700. Let me see. <clears throat> so I got 1.8k bow strings, 1.7k maple longs. I don't think this will be enough for 69 fleshing, but it'll, it'll give me to like 65 or something. Hopefully, 60, like, yeah, 65. Yo, if you're mine in my stream set that I can buy battle styles from the Magic Guild store, and yo, th there's five that's stocked in the, in the shop, but I just have different worlds to, you know, to buy them. And this is a lot faster than relying on the, the 15 daily or 30 daily battle stats from Zaf with the with the Varrock diary achievement or the diary rewards. This is definitely another method, good method of getting some quick battle stats for crafting. Yeah, I'm doing a bit of agility pyramid, also Alcus some water battle stats I crafted earlier. Just hit the one mil cash stack, man. You still got some more to out. So I'm gonna end up at like 1.5 mil plus. The gains are real. Damn, I think this is the yeah this is the most GP I've had so far, 1.7 mil. It's a lot. Finally got the last grace a uh, little marker grace that I'm gonna need for it. I think the uh, graceful top. So I'm gonna get the graceful top again. I think we're gonna do some more agility pyramid for some um some more XP towards 70. Just got the medium clue from Woodcun. I'm about to do it right now. I'm talking in a video. Alright, this is the first, not the first, this is the fourth step. So this should be, we're already completed, this is actually the fifth step. So this should be, here we go. See what we get. A Pistolarius banner. <laughs> Yo, I ended up getting the Lumberjack top from a zombie, well, a Lumberjack zombie during the Temple Trekking minigame. <laughs> this is the first time I ever actually got a Lumberjack piece. It's pretty dope. I just finished another one with some more bow strings. Yo, this is the easiest way to get bow strings. <laughs> get 100, I think you get 100 to 200 bow strings. It's ridiculous. Yo, I just got the lumberjack legs. This is dope. I actually found out that uh, lumberjack gives you, I think, a boosted wood cutting amount of XP like when you're wearing it. It's pretty dope for, uh, for wood cutting. Just got the lumber the lumberjack hat from from a, a lumberjack zombie. I got all the pieces. I I, I I think it's the boots. I think I need the boots. That's about it. I got three pieces so far. It's pretty dope. Yo, just got the lumberjack boots. Officially have the full lumberjack. I wish I wish I would have got the full lumberjack before <laughs> before I got got to 66 wood cutting. Damn, but it's all good. Yo, I, I got them all stuck, and it wasn't even on purpose. I just stood here on the on the on like the bridge, and they, they all just got stuck. It's just looks, looks hilarious. I ended up doing a bit of um, Arceus favor to get to sixty percent, so I can actually use the Arceus spellbook because on Arceus spellbook, it's one spell that teleports you right by the uh, mine altar. And I need to get my room crafting level up to 27 so I can start crafting some cosmic runes. This should be the last um, should be the last dark manuscript I need to find to get 60 favor for Arceus if I get the spell book. And also all these books. I can use all these books on 
all real crappy. So hopefully I get like uh, get a good amount of XP from this. This is pretty dope. So once I um, yeah, once I get this spell book, I'm about to start doing some uh, some uh, mind room crafting because I was thinking about going back to the mage uh, mage bank so I could just buy some cosmic runes. But t t to go back now. Uh, with all the progress I've been making, man, it'll be really dumb too. So I'm just do the uh, the safe and smart way. All right, here we go. Just got the the handover. Thank you very much. For return. I give you some knowledge. Yada yada yada. Thank you. All right, here we go. Spell book swap. Nice. Not only I can. Not only I can teleport to the mine altar on this spell, but I can also teleport to West Ardun for not um, for not whenever I need to you know turn the cats in for some death runes. So it's a win-win for me. Then when I get my magic level up to 83, I can use the barrels teleport. So it's pretty dope. All right, just got through mining like 1.2k PRS. So right now I'm about to go to the mine altar. And uh, try to get that 27 crafting, which uh, I'm sure I have enough PRS to get 27 crafting. And then as soon as I do that, I'm gonna use the rest of the PRS for the um, cosmic runes, and I'll probably mine some more PRS tomorrow. All right, should be the last trip before I get 72. <laughs> 72. I wish it should be the last trip until I get um, 27 rune crafting. Yeah, I can go back to the cosmic rune. Only thing that kind of sucks about the PRS man and, and rune crafting. Is the fact that um, if I'm not killing ankles for the pure essence, you have to I have to actually mine the pure s, which really sucks because uh, mining pure s it is it takes a while. It takes it, it, it takes longer than I, I wanted to than than I would, would want it to be. But got 27 room craft. I'm gonna start uh, setting up my setup for the cosmic room. I got seven agility now, so it's gonna be a lot easier, a lot faster going to the uh, water obelisk to, ch to charge them power orbs only thing now is man the past few like the past day or two it's been the worlds have been DCing a lot lately and even though I'm gonna have a shortcut I still have to you know I have to still have to run past blue dragons and on top of that I still have to run past black demons so it's still scary but uh it should be good <clears throat> alright so I switched up my car for a bit for my kingdom of miscellanea at first I had the wood all the way to 100% and then I had the herbs at like 50% but since I'm already so close to getting 69 fleshing so I can make the room crossbow I, 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 I focus more of my kingdom on herbs so I can start getting the uh, herbler, my herbler level up so I can start making the anti-fire potions and um, I'm, I'm, I'm only tw I'm 12k away from getting 69 so uh, well 69 fletches so that's why I put the woods down a bit and I just got some I just got like 450 maple logs uh, just now, so I'm gonna go flesh those and see if I can get the get the level. If I don't get the level, I should be even closer. But that's what I'm. Uh, that's what the miscellaneous is looking right now. And plus, I put one mil in there. Somebody told me that I should have uh, at least 750k in the um, in my coffer. I guess the, the, the more GP you have, the more you, you get. So I put one mil in there. So now we got 1.1 mil chilling in the coffer. So let's see how that's gonna be in a few days. <clears throat> All right, we're closing in on the 69 Fletch. 69, there we go, man. My favorite number. Can now make Rune Knight slash U crossbows. Uh, this is so dope. Look, I already have the, uh, I ended up going to the God Wars dungeon and, and I killed a few avian seeds for the uh, Rune Knight limb. So all I have to do now is pretty much get this. Uh, knife. I still need the bowstring. I still need the bowstring, but um, yeah, let's get the bowstring real quick. Alright, I think we're supposed to, um, yeah, I think, I, I think get the, um, yeah, here we go, some new. Here we go, man. I think you need a hammer, huh? You need, yeah, I need a hammer. Forgot. Bam! Moon crossbow. Man, I no longer have to use a bone. <laughs> Yo, Dorgishan crossbow is really good, man. I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even um, trying to knock the uh, Dorgishan crossbow, man. It's it's really good up until, up until a certain level, man. But I got the room crossbow, 
I already have the 55 Slayer, so all I have to do now is buy some, um, either buy Broad Bolts or I can just fletch them. I think I'll just fletch them, but I think I have to unlock the, uh, I have to unlock the fletching, uh, reward from the Slayer Master before I do that. Uh, we have Broad Bolts. Nice. I'm, I'm gonna buy, uh, 250 Broad Bolts for 35 Slayer points right now because, one, I don't have enough Slayer points to even unlock the skill right now and two if I get a crappy task uh, that, I, that, I, that I, I can't do or don't want to do I'm gonna want to skip it so for now I'm just gonna buy a uh, buy a set you know in case I need only oh, it's only 35 points not bad for some rune crafting for some cosmic runes and it's a little too slow right now man. so I'm actually gonna go to the mage bank see if I can buy some from the uh, the rune shop hopefully we don't come across any PKers all right here we go yeah, I'm about to teleport in there with the uh, <laughs> with the protect prayer on. Forget that. Right, here we go. Alright, we made it. Hey, yo, shout out to my man NH Iron. Pretty cool dude, man. He's actually making. Uh, pure, or I think a one defense um, Iron Man. So an Iron Man pure should be a pretty good challenge, man. Good luck with that, buddy. Damn, man, got the pure looking spiffy. Got the pure looking spiffy. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. I got 2K um, cosmic runes. I need to buy some nature runes to out the uh, water bottle stuff. So we should be good about now. I know we get to the uh, crafting. Yeah, I've never seen one before. These uh, lucky implants. Never seen one before. It's my first time seeing one. Just want to give it to you, white calf. Nice. It's actually been a while since I've done uh, a maze. I'm actually level 75 combat right now, so whatever I get should be pretty. It should be pretty good. 312 chaos rune, 17, 17 myth reward, 2.k, yeah, that's not bad. There we go, 60 mining. Now that's uh, that's another, uh, what is this, good requirement for lunar diplomacy. Now all I need, I think, is 61 crafting, which I already have the supplies for 61. All right, this might be... Bam. 1,250 total level. Nice. I decided I'm gonna start uh, working on uh, my hunter level so I can start collecting some eclectic emblems pretty soon. So I'm gonna probably get like 30 hunter tonight and then do some more tomorrow. And now I'll have to roll one, what is this, the 1250 world? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, oh, there we go. Bam! This is pretty dope. Feels good. I gotta go defeat a boss for the quest, Family Crest. I should only be in like level, like level two, so it shouldn't be too bad, but I am gonna hop worlds before I do go further. I'm about to hop to world, let's see, I'm about to hop to world three. What is that? Uh, what is that? Oh yeah, I'm out to world 353. Just so you know, I have to worry about no, no PKers. There we go. Last crest farts. Not bad. Alright, we should be quest complete. Uh, there we go. Still balance. I'm gonna go trade these into the uh, cooking goblins so I can cook a lot more uh, Karamba without burning them. All right, got the cooking goblins. Now it's just time to get some, um, some cooked karamas so I can use for Slayer. So I can get them Slayer games, man. I, want, I really want to catch up on Slayer so I can get to 58, get to the Black Mass, and get to 72 for the Wyverns, and then uh, so on and so on. But I've been slacking on the on the combat levels. All right, this is my 29th task. Well, I just finished my 29th task. 
this is actually going to be my 30th and the reason why I'm trying to get a task from Sheldar now even though I'm still low combat level is because she gives 50 points per every 10 tasks that you complete so if I can complete this one then I'll get an easy 50 points but hopefully if I, if I get metal drags ah, it's going to be bad oh 118 greater demons we can do that I just completed that greater demon task got 50 points completed 30 tasks in a row time to go back to the uh, I think what, what I think his name is Vandica and uh, Andrew Ezra Yo, shout out to my man Idaho Taters he said he was watching my video right now I freaked him out is it because my face it's funny man I never remember getting these as a slayer task because for one I don't think I've ever gotten them as a slayer task until now sea snakes weird 58 slayer yo shout out to Swanty he asked me if I was a bit and I told him I wasn't and my first defender right now with the bronze one I'm checking my resources right now. This is after about a good, I would say like two days, no more than three days, thinking like two days of our resources being collected. Not bad at all. I put a, I put more, I, put, I, I can actually show you guys, let me see. Uh, see, I put my herbs up all the way at the top, 100%, put the wood at like 20%, farming like 30%. I'm trying to get my herb level up, so. Here we go. Someone in my stream last night asked me why I was doing Slayer on stream instead of focusing on, you know, crafting or getting my magic level up. And the main reason why I'm doing, why well, I was doing Slayer, and I am doing Slayer, well, not right now, but in general, is because in order to complete the quest Dream Mentor, you have to have 85 combat, I believe it is. Or is it, yeah, you need 85 combat to, um, to complete the quest dream mentor and the reason why i'm doing that quest is because once you um once you have the uh, the lunar spell book and once you and once, once you complete this quest dream mentor you can use this the spell that's called super heat or, or super glass makeup I, I think it's called it's called super glass make which pretty much is used for uh making mol molten glass a lot not not only a lot quicker but also when, when, when you use the um that spell instead of having to use the uh you know instead of using soda ash and buckets of sand I could just use the seaweed and the uh, buckets of sand in my inventory, and it'll it'll you know automatically convert itself, you know, turn itself into molten glass. And when it does turn itself to molten glass, I have a chance of, of getting between I think 13 to like 20 molten glass pieces. So I'll, I'll I'll also be getting even more molten glass from using that spell. So that's the whole reason why I was doing Slayer, so I can get my combat my combat up right now. I'm currently 80 right now. Using my stats right here. After I do this farm run, I'm, about to, I'm gonna start working on some quests to um you know so i can actually do the uh the cave horror quest so i can get the black mask and stuff so that that could you know that can help with the slayer and everything but um that's the main reason why i'm, I'm all, i was you know also doing some slayer and the reason why you guys saw me getting dragon well, getting defenders and everything so just finished uh, what we call zogar flesh eaters pretty easy quest now all i have to do is i think now i have to do Cabin Fever or Rumdale. What's going on, bud?
we're doing quest complete now. All I have to do is cabin fever. We'll do that request right now. Cabin fever complete. <coughs> and finally, go get that um black mask. I think I'm gonna do it tonight. See, if, try, try my luck out there. 7k smithing XP, 7k crafting, 7k agility XP. And I can start making fire battle stats. <laughs> nice.